<laughs> well, small world. Now, uh, guys, uh, Heidi, we're about to go to break, but what has it been like for you talking to friends and family and neighbors now that you're kind of shifting your view? They take me very seriously because I've always been a very serious Christian, and most Christians understand what's going on. They understand they're being persecuted. They understand this is the end of the world. They understand the new world order, the one world currency, is all in revelations in the Bible. So they're taking me very seriously, and they know when I mean something that it's a message, and I'm not just full of things, and I tell the truth. And, you know, Jesus says to hate evil and to cling what is good. You know, so also, we're being in that, and, I mean, it's just a very scary thing. And birth control, I'm glad you said that, because I had a, a, a whole... Uh, realization about that the other day and i got well stay there stay there heidi uh, heidi montag and her husband uh, spencer pratt both on the line with us right now stay there quick break we'll come right back to you this is gcn spencer pratt and his wife uh, heidi montag pratt join us short segment long segment coming up after this one and i'll get into a bunch of other questions maybe we'll take a few calls heidi you were trying to tell a story before we hit that break I was just saying about birth control because I got very scared about it the other day and I felt like God was telling me that this was something just created by the government that is really bad for my body and I was just getting sick. And I researched it and one of the uh, founding people who invented birth control said it was the worst thing that they've ever done. They wish they never created it. How it morally corrupted society is just sickening to him how it devalues women, how it causes depression, how it can cause cancer, how it sterilizes your body and what it does to your body, how most women are suicidal sometimes on it. And in fact, in, to, in order to even stabilize the population right now, each woman would have to have three children, that the population is decreasing so much that population control is just a myth. That's right, because the eugenicists want to kill the West because they see that as their competition, then they're going to kill the third world. But that's the key for all these racist white people that go, yeah, kill the Africans, kill the Asians, yeah, we need to get rid of them. They're being uh, reduced as well. And, and exactly, Europe's got 1.3 population. The United States, if you take out the illegal alien influx, it's about 1.4. So that's a really... So, so you guys really do know your stuff uh, on this. You've really, I guess, had a crash course in all of this? Or were you already aware of... Uh, uh, aware of a lot of these issues before you saw my films. No, your film definitely put us in a crash course schooling system. We needed to really learn our facts, and it inspired us to a whole new level. And we love our guns. We go shooting all the time. We love our guns. My dad loves his guns. And they're for your protection. They're not taking it out of the hands of bad guys. They're the ones who can still get the guns. They're the ones who will have the guns in the streets. And the people... The police officers who, you know, abuse their authority, as I've seen many times in your case, it makes me disgusted, and I hate what is evil, and I feel so bad for the people in this world because they just have no idea what's going on, and I'm praying for this world, and I'm praying for Obama, and I'm praying that these people will somehow get a conscience or something because it's just sick and saddening, and I really, I know the end is very near. Well, certainly the end of the civilization as we know it uh, because of technological developments and all the other uh, lines that are projecting right now to this mega crossroads, this, this, the, this key time uh, that society uh, is uh, entering right now, specifically with the girl that plays Hannah Montana, uh, this uh, Cyrus girl who is, is such a megastar uh, around the world. Uh, one of you guys was texting her from the exchange I saw and we posted at PrisonPlanet.com, and she said, what is InfoWars? And just from that, we got thousands of Twitters and emails and more pouring in today from new listeners and young people trying to find out what's going on and uh, you know trying to discover what's happening. I mean, that is so valuable to see that going on. I hope that you guys and others can reach out uh, to uh, Miss Cyrus and explain to her she's being used by the globalists who want to restrict free speech uh, with the Cyberbullying Act that states, and I'm going to read it after the break, word for word, that if you hurt someone's feelings, the government's going to come charge you with a felony and put you in prison, the end of the First Amendment. I mean, obviously, bullying isn't a nice thing, but having the feds come arrest people for their speech, 
Uh, this is, I, I don't think she wants to be known as the person that helped kill America. No, and I know Miley, and I she's a great girl, and I was twittering her about it because I want everyone to be aware about it. And she had no idea, and it's very hard to find out about you because they try to keep Info Wars and Alex Jones, everything very hidden and secretive because they know that's the weapon used against them is truth, and truth hurts, and that's what they're trying to hide from everyone. And, you know, we just want to make everyone aware of what's going on before it's too late. And I saw what you were saying about the Bully Act, and that is just robbing everyone of freedom of speech. That's saying if I put up a Bible verse on my Twitter, then I can be hurting people's feelings and be persecuted for it. And that's not America, and it's so sad that it's gotten this far. Well, I want to be clear. We're not saying that Miley Cyrus is bad, and I said that day one. I said she was being used. No, no, of course. Yeah, I'm agreeing with you. She just, she hasn't known. None of us know. It's very hard to find out. So the fact that she showed interest in this really made a big difference to so many little girls and to so many people. That is just, it was such a blessing. Have you gotten any feedback from her about uh, the cyberbullying now? I haven't, but I'm definitely going to talk to her about it. I want to talk to her in person about it, too. And well, the minute you do, please let us know, because I want to get you on to tell us what she said or get her on with you. That would be huge to have Miley Cyrus on here. But if the CIA airs, they're not going to contact her daddy, who's all mobbed up with the government. I mean, I'm sure he's a friendly person as well and probably try to stop her from coming on. But they definitely don't want the info war going to all those young girls. Stay there, uh, Heidi and Spencer. This is amazing information.